What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World, and yes, we are going to get Legend Weekend League rewards. They are going to be dropping it a lot later, uh, based on what they said, just to kind of give us a chance to go after some of the newer cards that are in-game, like Team of the Week. So many of you guys that were used to getting it at about 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Tuesday, it's going to be pushed back. Uh, going forward to give us a chance to kind of let the first new content drop and then we get our opportunity right after so right here I got 20 wins last week, but my strength of schedule is about a, like 98 and I wasn't able to get that top 100 Which I really really was trying to get but I did have a couple DC's too and I had three legitimate losses So it is what it is and the DC losses that I got I was winning both games So I could have probably had 22. It doesn't really matter. We're still gonna be able to get some um, You know some currency right now. So this is the legendary awards. It's the first one um, That we're pretty much gonna be going ahead and getting right now uh, for the season of Madden 21 Ultimate Team. So I know a lot of you guys are going to be asking, okay, G Maya, what are we doing with all of these? Now, if you don't know, I was going to say now you know, you know what I'm saying, Biggie Smalls, rest in peace. But um, the touchdown packs, they have been reduced from 65 to 50K. So that's 100K right there. This right here is going to be 50, okay, because it's 25 and 25. So we have 150K right here. All right. Now, is it worth it to do that and just take the coins and then build a team? Also, with the trophies, you got more coins. So what I'm gonna tell you is this. We're gonna pull the Hail Mary packs, right? And then I'm gonna go after the coins with everything else. Because I'm, I gotta be honest with you, looking at what is inside of some of these packs, it should make you wanna throw up. There's not a lot of things that are coming out of it. Um, the packs have been definitely, definitely 100% terrible. Plus, we are on the brink of trying to build the squad up. So I'm going to recommend to you guys right now to just take the coins from the Weekend League Rewards. Pulling stuff, leave that for bundles. You know what I'm saying? If you guys want to see a bundle, if there are cards that I tell you that I'm going to pull because, you know, for whatever reason, if there's a card that I like or whatever, that's the only time that it makes sense to actually do anything like pull anything else because other than that, you're going to get garbage, dude. You know what I'm saying? So we know what we're doing with the squad right now. I would like to build the team up a lot more. So I'm going to use these coins to start, you know, looking to get other things done. Plus, I got six training, dude. I am dead broke. Like, guys, I understand that some of you guys are going to get very lucky. Many of you guys are going to probably pull 99 overall Jesus out of the pack and be like, yo, G-Maya, yo, I got lucky, dude. Okay, you guys are very, very lucky. I don't have that luck, and I don't have the luxury because I refuse to continue to buy packs when the packs are that garbage. So I'm, I'm kind of taking a little bit of time off from the pack buying. Um... So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to get all the coins, show you everything that I'm doing. You guys already know with the trophies, we can get more quick sales inside the store. Okay, so we're going to get like, uh, I guess we get like three, maybe three we can get out of that. I don't know. We'll figure out how much it, how much it goes, how much we can get out of that. And then we'll accumulate some more coins with that. And I need to start looking at other things with the squad because we've pretty much figured out what type of defense that we want to run. We just have to be smart about it. We have to be able to make some plays. Um... I'm going to be giving you guys some more insight into that situation, though, because there's a lot more uh, involved with what's going on. I think that we can probably run some really, really good defenses with the way that I've adjusted to how I actually play the game right now. I just have to take a look at some of the uh, playbooks that are available, but um, they, they do have the O-line, you know, just straight up. Like, like, bro, even if a dude comes out with a budget O-line, you can't get in. You can't get pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could send a lot of people, and sometimes you'll get lucky you know, sending the guy off the edge. They do have that cover two uh, sync blitz out of uh, dollar, not dollar, uh, dime 146. That's been working the same way that it was last year. It's really stupid. The guy just comes free regardless. But other than that, you really cannot get pressure. So, you know, me doing this right now is just to pretty much let you guys know what the blueprint is, uh, what you should be doing with your weekend league rewards. Just take all the coins. You know, usually I would, you know, get packs and all that stuff and figure it out. But right now, the game is so much pay to play that I do not want anyone wasting it, guys. Like, I've seen some of you guys leave comments that I'm like, yo, bro, I can't, like, I can't promote any, you know, buying of packs unless we're trying to get, like, Randy Moss and certain plays that I like. I'm not going to do that. So let's take a look at the squad right now and try to figure out exactly what's going on. Primarily, what I need right now, see, Dante Hall is pretty good, right? So... I know that Brandon Cooks can be powered up to the same exact speed, and I want to take a look at that, but I just don't want to get rid of him right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause he he's a decent card. Like, it's not like he's trash, but he is 5'8. And I think Brandon, what is Brandon Cooks? Like 5'10? So it can work out differently to where 
They're both burners and it can work, but we're gonna go with the undersized uh, receivers with speed this year because until the bigger receivers with speed come out where we can use deep out and deep in, I'm going to reserve for us to do it this way. All right, so let's go ahead and see what we're gonna do with these um the coins that we have right now. I wanna take a look at the power-ups that we have as far as the wide receiver because Brandon Cooks is one of the faster receivers. So we're obviously not gonna be able to afford his limited card. All right, that's out of the question, right? So we're gonna go now to the program. Uh, we got power up already. We're gonna uh, go to wide receiver and we're gonna check out what's going on with that. What do we have? Dante Hall, Tyreek Hill, and Jerry Rice. So we do not have something that we can utilize for him at this ex exact moment, but he gets powered up to, uh, um, he gets powered up to a, a, a 90 speed from just using his power up. So he's somebody that we should take a look at. I believe his power up is only like a 20K. The last that I checked, um, so let's go ahead and see what's going on. Oh, maybe, oh I think they spell his name kind of weird, right? Like Brandin, like D-I-N. Like, I, I don't understand, like, okay, hold on. I think that's why it's like that. So let me do that. I think that's how they have it, right? Okay, yeah, Brandon Cook. So his 81 is 15K, all right. See, yeah, his power-up is like right there. So I, we're gonna invest in this, right? Because right now, this is one of the better cards. So we're gonna grab him, all right? We're gonna take a look at the price range of what it's gonna be, because we already have the power-ups for that 81 card, 81 overall. So let's take a look at what we can do to make the team a lot better. Let's go ahead and look at what we could do as far as the upgrade, the cost of what it's gonna be uh, to get him where we want him right now. So to get him to an 88, how much training are we gonna need? Okay, six, six, okay, to right here, he'll be at, okay, no, he'll be a 90 speed, but he'll be at 80 overall. So we need 2238 training to get him there, right? Um, obviously, like I said, this is ridiculous. Like this right here is ridiculous, but I want you guys to take a look at some of the stuff. Um, his deep route running, where is it? Because it was a lot better than the other guys. So deep route run, it's gonna be 87 at that route. Okay, at this, at this point, 87. So that's really, really good based on what we've seen from, um, you know, Dante Hall. He's a returner, that's his archetype. So that's gonna create an issue where we may be able to get this guy a lot more wide open. You see what I'm saying? Because the deep route run is an 84 for uh, Dante Hall. He's an 87, so he's above that 85 because I'm not using the extra chems right now with like go deep or anything. So I don't have additional chems. I'm just looking for players that can actually do what I need them to do, all right? So this can be a situation right now. I don't wanna sell uh, Dante Hall at this exact moment because he's one of the faster cards. And we may need him when other guys get tired, whatever. Plus I'm gonna be running a different type of set uh, later on. So this is what I'm going to propose, right? Let's take a look at my lineup to see who are my backups right now. Because Andre Johnson, he's chemistry as well. And then this guy's chemistry and then Jerry Rice's chemistry. So this is gonna be a problem because we need to get another receiver in there. Um, or we could just put Brandon Cooks on kick, Brandon Cooks on kickoff, right? Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll put him on kickoff because we're not utilizing any chem and he's not like a, a team diamond or anything like that. So we don't have to really worry about that too much. Um, just so you guys are aware, you can sneak your players in like a, as like a slot corner. The chemistry won't register if you just have them in those specific spots, but you can get them in the lineup. And we're only looking for it as far as speed purposes. So let's go ahead and take a look at this right now. Um, and then we'll go forward with that. So here we go right here, auction house. And then we're gonna go, we're gonna um, take this out. All right, because we don't need that no more. We're going to look for an 88 overall card to try to snipe. Um, so maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe we won't. Um, EA usually does us really dirty, so it doesn't really matter. So 152. Why is it that expensive? I don't know. Let's see what else is going on. Okay, so it looks like dudes are not playing games, bro. I was sniping these for like 120, 110. Now, you can play around and try to get lucky, but it look everybody at this point right now, they know that the market is what it is, so they're not going to allow us to continue to just do whatever we want. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be around these rates, all right? So we're gonna to have to figure out a different way, but this this is what it is, right? It takes, it's 2,500 training you get. So you gotta sacrifice something. Like, it, it, look, bro, the way EA is rolling, dude, like, it's crazy in these streets. Hold on, DT, oh, we don't need a DT. And that's why I think that they're hesitating on putting out like the flashbacks and stuff, because it would give us the opportunity to get cheaper cards. This guy's at 150, like imagine that, bro. 
imagine like that his his card is cheaper and we got to quick sell him that's kind of weird for me to quick sell McCaffrey so I'm not going to do that but this 151 is looking crazy Christian McCaffrey can't play for me dog I got Bo Jackson and Barry oh my I can't believe I have to spend all bro I'm gonna have to spend this dog oh team diamonds oh what are the team diamonds prices okay 150 all right so he's 150 also um team of the week 203 okay uh oh you could actually get one of these guys the 200k the power rusher dude that's not bad i'm not doing that but th that looks looks pretty good uh ultimate kickoff anybody around that 143 all right i'll take this guy 143 we're gonna have to just deal with that less than the 150 and the 151 that we saw we'll go ahead get rid of that um power up brandon cooks put him in the lineup to have him in uh, as somebody that we can utilize later. You know what I'm saying? Because it's very important to do that. 2,500 training. All right, we're gonna go back to his card and then we are going to get him all powered up. And now we have three 90 plus receivers. So some of you guys are probably like, yo, Gmai, what are you gonna be doing with all that speed? Just look out for it. I got a whole new offense I'm gonna be running and it's gonna be wild and savage and it's gonna consist of throwing maximum amounts of streaks. Uh, that's all you really need to know. Like when I say maximum, like, Every play is going to be a streak for no reason at all other than the fact that I just don't care. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like, that's pretty much what it is. I'm throwing streaks. It just won't be G Maya streaks because I don't have the height and the capability to do what I need to do at this time just based on the personnel that's available right now. We have a whole ton of 81 overalls, right? Yeah, okay, we got three of them. All right, so we saved some coin on that. Let's continue to do this right here. All right. Okay, he's going to need 1,200 for that. All right, so we get him up to right here. And then that's it, right? So we got him at this point. This is a very, very huge thing. Does he? What does he get as far as his stuff? He gets mid in elite, mid out elite. We don't care about that. What's he? Okay, he hasn't played for any teams that we have that we actually need chemistry for anyway. So it doesn't matter. All right. Now we have him. You know, at that speed, we just put him into the lineup. He can't be at the starter position because of what I just showed you. Theme teams run the world, so we can't really do that. Um, we're gonna go ahead right now. And um, take a look at, okay, where's special teams doing? Who, Tyreek Hill and then Troy Aki. So what we'll do is we'll put him in as a second punt returner here. All right, so that way he's in the game. And then now we can sub him into our lineup when it's time. So that's something that I think that you guys should do. Try to upgrade your team with at least one good player so that way you can continue to evolve uh, with the squad. Also keep in mind that the Series 1 trophies, we can use that in store to get more currency uh, from getting the red zone packs and accumulating coins that way as well as we continue to upgrade our team all right so that's what i did with my first ever weekend league rewards let me know what you think about it and i'm going to see you guys and girls next time you have an unbelievable day stay safe one love y'all